My name is Tom, this is Ben, and we are The Thinking Drinkers, and we're here today to talk to you about the world's best-selling spirit, vodka. Now, there's a mass debate over who invented vodka. Was it the Russians? Was it the Polish? Who knows? Not us, we weren't there. But recipes and records started emerging in Eastern Europe during the late 9th century. The word vodka comes from Eastern Europe and literally means little water. As in, no, no, darling, I'm not drinking, I'm just having a little water. Today, there are no regulations about production location. Vodka can be made anywhere in the world. Typically unaged, it can be made using any fermentable ingredient. Most commonly grains, as in the barley vodka of Finlandia or the rye of uh, Belvedere, or potatoes, as with Chase. But everything from grapes to cow's milk has now been used as a base. Cow's milk? Oh, the other one. I bet that's best served a uh, uh, Frisian, you know, not, instead of chilled. Let's move on. Vodka is highly rectified spirit, column distilled to around 96% ABV. And this process removes many of the heavier flavour and aroma compounds you find in whiskey or rum. In fact, the American regulations demand it be free of character, aroma, taste or flavour. Now, for a long time, the vodka producer's quest was one of purity, but customers have started demanding more flavour. There is now a conversation about terroir in vodka and a move to reflect the base ingredients and deliver a more characterful spirit. Products like Dutch vodka Kettle One, for example, have been distilled a number of times. Not just once. Not twice. Not three times. Yes, been three times, but that third distillation takes place on a copper pot still. And what that means is that the vodka is more robust and has a stronger mouthfeel. And this gives you more character to the vodka, making it great to drink it neat or in a martini. While Siroc is made using grapes and has a subtle citrus note still intact. Interestingly, Siroc is championed by the hip hop rap star Sean Puffy Coombs. He did he? Only when he drank a whole bottle. Flavoured vodkas are popular today, but are not a new trend. The earliest vodkas would have had honey or cherries added, or indeed grass, as is the case with Zubrovka, a Polish rye vodka that has been washed over bison grass for a more herbal flavour. The grass takes its name from the native bison or buffalo that live in Poland. Well, vodka is very popular in cocktails, and two of the biggest bar calls in the UK right now are the espresso martini and the porn star martini. And then you've also got the vodka martini, made with vodka, as the name would suggest. And this is the favourite drink of James Bond, who was very specific about how he had his martinis. Shaken, not stirred. Now, we recommend stirring your martinis these days with good quality ice. But shaken was great for Bond because he was a busy man and shaking chilled the drink quicker and gave him more time to muck about on jetpacks and get off with foreign girls. Also, James Bond was very specific about the kind of glassware he used for his martini. In fact, he was obsessed with glasses, so much so that when he retired from the Secret Service, he opened an optician's in South London. It was called For Four Eyes Only. So drink your vodka in cocktails or have it neat to learn more about it. But however you approach it, always follow our motto, our message, our mantra, drink less, but drink better. Cheers. Cheers.